What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cape Coral, Florida. We just crossed the bridge and we're now in the Cape from Fort Myers. There's a toll to get over here. It's not operational now. They're, they're, I guess they're sending you a ticket in the mail. So hopefully we'll get that in the mail soon. Katie, what do you got at Cape Coral? It has 194,000 people. Wow, 194,000 people. So it's just under 200,000 people living in Lee County, Florida, right next to Fort Myers. Cape Coral is the largest city in Southwest Florida by population. And it's an all right city. Uh, a lot of people don't like Cape Coral because uh, it's kind of like a grid pattern city. It's not really, not like Fort yeah. Myers where you have like communities of, you know, you got historic neighborhoods. like hipsters and stuff like that they want to be like in fort myers where they have like historic districts and kind of more of a this is more like a place for like people from connecticut new york there's a new yorker right there it's 19 percent hispanic 19 percent hispanic and there's also asians here what's the asian population here 1.5 1.5 consisting a lot of uh filipino i think is the largest group yeah. here uh in the latino population there's a lot of cubans there's a lot of puerto ricans um the Dominicans, Colombians, and Venezuelans are probably the largest Latino groups here. Um, probably a little bit of Mexican too, but mostly Cuban and Puerto Rican, I guess. Yes. You also have North Fort Myers, which is starting to get a lot of Puerto Ricans. We don't get confused. Now, Cape Coral, it doesn't have a lot of a crime issue. Like, what it has is a lot of like people just drink a lot like drinking is a problem here like DUIs. it's not like violent crime it's kind of like drunk people crimes you know and a lot of teenagers get in trouble here car you know car checking and but it, it, there's not a, a massive crime concern here so it's not a city with a massive crime concern that's probably not what you're looking out for here the most what you're probably looking out for here is going to be uh, a lot of DUIs, a lot of people driving intoxicated, a lot of um, you know people fighting a lot in bars and stuff like that. Um, but as far as like street crime and all that, it's really not much of it. In other words, at night downtown kind of has you know bar fights and uh, just stupid teenager stuff mostly and drunk people stuff but it's not like crime as far as you know like street activity there's a lot of people from connecticut here a lot of people from new york and new jersey lots i mean it's pretty much a little yeah. miniature connecticut at this point <laughs> lots of businesses uh there's lots of restaurants here uh, iguana mio there's one in bonita springs as well Rubio cigars, lots of cigar. I don't know what it is. Here's a Panera bread. Um, lots of cigar places here, and uh, lots of people from New York. Here's a Cuban restaurant that's really good. It's called El Meson Camagüeyano. Uh, Camagüey is a region of Cuba, and then Meson means the big table, so the big table of Camagüey, Cuba, which is where I'm from in Cuba. So that restaurant is, uh, the owners, I guess, are from the same part of Cuba I'm from. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, lots of interesting businesses. There's also a Cuban pizza place. Do we like their pizza? It's not as good as a Miami pizza, but it's, it's all right, eh? I think last time the service was pretty crappy, though. Yeah. It was the food was good, but the service was crappy, something like that. Yeah. But uh, this is downtown Cape Coral. Lots of little bars and little stores and... This, this guy could just be the poster shot for Florida. <laughs> this guy could be the poster shot for Florida. Yeah. Hey, he said hi to us. All right. Yeah. No, nah, he had to be rude to be a poster. He's got the outfit to be the poster shot of Florida. Uh -huh. But he, he he waved hi at us, so that definitely. Yeah. He he's not gonna be a poster shot of that much. Cabinet genius, I should. So you know, Cape, downtown Cape Coral. I'm gonna go ahead and turn northbound here just to get the sun out of our face yeah oh it doesn't look that bad on the video it looks bad for, like, for me it looks horrible uh the city of cape coral 
is on top of Cape Coral as far as keeping the place clean. Code enforcement is really hectic here. So if you like to have a lot of junk on your yard, you don't like to mow your lawn, uh, this may not be the place for you. Even, I believe they even have an ordinance. I don't know if they're still enforcing it, but they're known for having an ordinance where they don't allow you to have trucks with signs on your driveway. So if you have a work truck and your work truck has signs on the sides, you can't have that. It's a code violation. So it's very interesting how uh, strictly uh, enforced the city is. It's actually known as a place. Uh, although the Cape Coral Racing Pigeon Club was able to keep their pigeon coops within the legalities because they, uh, they were able to legally get their pigeon coops through the loopholes of the city. They, they went to court over and they won. So it's a place where you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of culture, okay, as far as Latin culture, but you also have a lot of sophistication. They're not putting, this isn't Hialeah, basically, where you're going to have an ice cream truck from 1974 in the driveway and sell vegetables out the back. It's more refined than that as far as city regulation here. Um, so it, what they've done with all these regulations is no nice way of putting it but it's keeping the riff raft out is basically the way people here refer to it as uh it, it's just keeping you know trashy properties and people who like trashy things out of cape coral making it be more of a is it white collar blue collar what's the right term katie white collar white collar light blue <laughs> that blue collar can't be too can't be too much of a blue. What does a blue collar job mean? Let's, let's find that out. What is the exact definition? You have a phone, Katie. I pay you a phone. I bought you the nicest iPhone they had at the time. And don't ask for an upgrade. <laughs> let's, start, let's start with that new iPhone crap again. Okay. I bought you that one. And they use it. People walking. Yeah, Cape Coral is not bad. I, I don't. A working class person. Yeah, yeah. Who performs manual labor? Yeah, those are blue collar. Yeah. Yeah, so blue collar, they're trying to keep the blue collars out, which is basically like if you have a, a work truck on your driveway. Not not saying people don't have it here. You might. We run are into blue it. collar apparently. Are we really? Waste collection and disposal. Oh yeah, they don't want that here. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want us here, basically. Yeah. Like, we're not classy enough to... Oh, Bama's okay with us. <laughs> but they but are. they're blue color. Mango trees <laughs> flowering. Big mango trees flowering. More mango trees flowering. And that is another plus of Cape Coral. If you like tropical plants, tropical fruits, Cape Coral has... By the way, people here are just walking around the road. Like, there's no fear yeah. of losing their lives to a magic person. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't even blink at us. Ooh, these people are cold, man. They didn't even blink at us. Look at the size of that laundry. Wow. If you like tropical gardening, tropical fruits, tropical plants, Cape Coral may be the place for you. Um, it's tropical enough to grow papayas, bananas, mangoes, and that's another massive plus. Also, I, I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but it's a widely known fact, so I didn't even consider talking about it. But Cape Coral has the largest canal system in the world, unless Dubai has it now, enough Dubai took it over. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, look at the S5, SL500. I said there's more than 500, either way I want it. I always wanted that car. I'm gonna buy one soon. I want to buy more things than I can afford. Yeah. My to-do list has a few things on it that probably aren't gonna get done unless we win the lottery. Yeah. Wow, those old ladies are cold, man. They didn't wave at us or nothing. Man. I don't know what's colder, the weather up north or the people down south. Well, I wonder why they're cold, because they're not from the... If they are really from the south, they'd be friendly. Like, how y'all doing? Y'all want to come in for some sweet tea? <laughs> Dude, 
this person will have a nicer attitude. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you, man. And she whoever, smiled, too. Whoever you are. There you go. <laughs> whoever you are. I hope you look at this person. They, they should have waited. They were going to wait. City people, man. It's, I don't know. it's just a mystery box. You just never know what you're gonna get. Hey, you got some family here in Cape Coral. Why don't we visit them? Oh. Yeah. Why don't you call your family here, Katie, and see how they're doing? You should. It's only the nice thing to do. Why don't you call your aunt? I don't have family in Cape Coral, do I? Your I don't aunt? know, do I? I might have family here. Yeah. I'd have to go to the phone book and see. <laughs> I have so many cousins and... Which one? The ones in Lehigh? That kid's gonna be trouble. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just know he is. Just that look on his face, just sitting there. Like he's going to school like... You can tell he doesn't yeah. want to go to school. Wow, it's 7.30? So it's 8.30 here. Hey, yeah. we're up early. We're up earlier than usual. Yeah, buddy. We're becoming responsible adults. Yeah, I don't know how long it'll last. <laughs> Probably not. I'm gonna walk on this guy. <laughs> hey, he said hi. hi. That's what's up, man. Yeah, buddy. Ezu, zu, zu, zu. Ezu, zu, zu, zu. Ezu, zu, zu, and wham, whims, and bam, bam, and bam, 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 bam. Oh, snap. He's got 21 followers in that day. That's a 21% of Latinos there. Oh, yeah. A Ford Expedition with 24s, that's definitely a Latino. Mm -hmm. Que vuelta se. Yeah. Recent arrival from Hialeah. He hasn't got rid of the rims yet. <laughs> this is an interesting looking house. Cape Coral is nice. I, I, you know, you know what's, what, what angers me is how many people from Lehigh like to throw Cape Coral in the mix. Like if, like if Cape Coral was the same caliber as Lehigh. You know? Not a chance. Not a chance. I'd rather live here oh, than there's Lehigh. No doubt. no doubt. No doubt this is better. People like Lehigh because it's a little bit more country. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't even call it country. I, I would just, it, it's got more trees. Cape Coral is more of an urban area. So yeah. it's, you know, right up the alley of people leaving big cities. I like Cape Coral. You guys have been asking a lot about Port St. Lucie. The thing about Port St. Lucie is how far east it is, and I don't know if I'm going to be managing it on this trip. Um, I don't know, you probably don't want to hear that, but just the reality of it, um, it may not be manageable. Unless we left right now, which I don't, I'm not a one in the cross state, yeah. and I just, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. Master of disaster, he got pulled over. Probably speeding. He's mastering his own disaster right there. Yeah, that's not one to get pulled over with. And then, you know, look, there's going to be a, a joke. That's going to be the pun of a joke there with that cop. Oh, yeah. Like, his truck says, Master, what's it say? Monster of Disaster? Like, sir, your driving is, uh, well, what's it say there on the side of your truck? A disaster? <laughs> you, you're not getting off on a ticket. When your company's called Master of a Disaster, you ain't getting yeah. that. You, there's no way you're talking your way out of a ticket with that. Yeah, we worked at that house, didn't we? Yeah. Huh. We've worked at a lot of We've places. We've worked in a lot of places here, yeah. Hey, Cape Coral people paid all right. You yeah. ever notice that? Yeah, they paid just fine. They paid fine. They paid better than Naples. That's what I'm telling you. It's like middle class people pay better than rich people. I made more. I, and I know this is mind boggling to you probably. Yeah. I made better money in Cape Coral and in Lehigh. Than I did in Naples. Yeah, couldn't we, we just put a truck and trailer in a garage and call it a day and keep close all the time? No, your neighbors will snitch you out. These people, are, they're, they're not going to put up with it. We're parting out a car right now for on the side, Katie. You, you're not going to do that here. <laughs> no. We have 150 garbage cans in our front yard. That, yeah. We burn stuff on our front yard. The flames are taller than some of these palm trees. You're not going to get away with that here. We're too savage to live in a place like this. Yeah. And after being in Alabama, I've become even more of a savage. Yeah. You can't just like walk out on your back porch and shoot a 22 here in the morning. 
You know what I mean? If you did that here, you'd get arrested. That's yeah. crazy. Like, how many things we're allowed to do where we live? Yeah. If you did them here, you'd, you'd go straight to Lee County Jail. Yeah. Like, where we live, you could just pop a gun off anywhere. Like, it's not a big deal. I was at the landfill the other day. Mm -hmm. There's this guy. Every time he goes to the landfill. He just starts shooting. Yeah. I saw a construction demolition. And by the way, the city doesn't pick that up here. They're going to have to call a junk removal company. Every time this guy goes to the landfill. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they don't kick him out. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Can you imagine going to a landfill here in Naples or like, you know, like in Lee County landfill and somebody shooting? <laughs> it's not going to happen. It just it doesn't yeah. happen. But anyways, this guy back in Alabama where I live, every time he goes to the landfill, he's always shooting. You know, it's loud. Whatever it is, it's loud. Mm -hmm. You know? And, um... You know, then like the, all the employees come over. You can't do that, man. I told you a hundred times already. You can't do that. Because he likes to shoot at the landfill. Like just wild. It, it, it's just, there's yeah. a thousand things you can do in Alabama that if you did, like in Alabama, you're allowed to pull it out and show it to somebody if you don't like them. Yeah. You'd be like, man, I'm going to do it. You just can't do it. You're, yeah. that, that, and that creates a society where, like here in Florida, if you pull it out, that's already 1020 life, you know? Yeah. So just, if you pull it out here in Florida, that's already 1020 life. You can't even pull it out here. Yeah. So if you pull it out here in Florida, you're already, you're already in the cage. Yeah. You might as well go ahead and do it. That's the laws. Are, it's interesting how the laws of every state affect the way people, like in Alabama, you can pull it out and point at somebody and... Probably no. You wouldn't say you could shoot it. I don't know. Missing. I don't know. That's attempted, but you could definitely pull it out in Alabama and show it and point at somebody, yeah. and it's not a crime. Why am I picturing with this conversation the guy from Looney Tunes, where he just like shoots in the air? Yeah, yeah. You you can do that in Alabama for the most part, and it's not a crime. But in in Alabama, so in Alabama, somebody will pull it on you. They have no intentions of ever actually doing it. But they'll pull it on you. And you can probably just, in the half the time, you can disarm them because they're not really going to do anything. They're, they're, you're allowed to pull it out. Of course, you don't want to have somebody pull it out on you, so you're not, you're not going to be a jerk in traffic. Because if somebody's pointing it at you, you're wondering if they're going to go at it or not. So it creates a society in Alabama where, one, nobody's really about it. And two, oh, here's our first new construction for the day. One... One, nobody's actually about it in Alabama like that. But here in Florida, if they pull it out, man, you, they're already inside the cage for 10 to 20, 20 life. So, you know, if you pull it out, you, you might as well. You know? You sure you don't want to visit your family here, Catherine? Yes. You sure you don't want to see your family? Mm -hmm. I think they'd appreciate seeing you. Your family. Well, not not technically. No. Well, kind of. I don't know. Just give them a call and see how they're doing, Catherine. <laughs> You're actually gonna do it? No, I'm. You're blocking me from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crack me up, man. So anyway, yeah, it's just weird how like every state has different laws, and those laws affect how people do things. And in Florida, best believe. Oh, another thing is if you, you know, yeah, Florida, best believe if, if you pull it out, you're already in the box. You might as well do it. Just. I don't know where she's. she's I, I'd see her. But why not? I don't know. No, that's fine with me. I just, you know, been busy. Been busy. You know who I would like to see? Who? Mr. Cowboy. I think one of them is St. Carlos still. 
Maybe tonight I can go fishing with my cousin. I don't know if he, he's got so many kids. It's like, me and him used to be so cool, but he's got so many kids now <laughs> that we can't go fishing anymore. Me and him, I, I would love to go fishing with him. I want to see where he's at. I'm going to call him, at least see him. <laughs> he's probably in, in, uh, in St. Carlos area, Fort Myers. <laughs> I would love to go. Let me call him tonight and see if he wants to go fishing. After maybe tonight, you know, after dinner, you can have dinner with your mom, and I'll go fishing with my cousin. <laughs> Last time we went fishing, he's still mad about it. I hooked into this like four foot grouper at the at the San Carlos Bridge, and uh, I hooked into this like four foot grouper, and he thinks it's my fault it got him hooked in. Mexico what? Lindo. Mexico lindo y querido. Tiki taka ti. Tiki taka ta. Bra. Boom. Like. Traffic seems fairly light here. Here's a New Yorker. <laughs> Isn't it? No, it's no, not a New Yorker. It's okay. Floridian. It's a Floridian. Oh, I mean, it's not a Floridian. Chances are it's a New Yorker either way, but it's not a recent state, I guess. I think when you move to Florida, the first thing you gotta do is get rid of them orange license plates. Very quiet out here today. It's early in the morning. What time is rush hour here? Is there a rush hour here? It's a pretty laid back city. It's a fairly laid back city. Yeah. I mean, it's chill out here. There's a Cuban baker right Asuka. there. Asuka. Are they open? You guys, you notice how my, I've been doing better since I stopped yeah, eating breakfast? Yeah, just wait, eat it. Just wait. What Just maybe my body takes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a Hooters. They got really good burgers and wings. Ow! What's that for? I don't care about what the waitresses look like. I'm just going there for the burger. I think I got a good sandwich. Don't hit me. Ow! Why are you squeeze my jelly roll? What's that for? I just want to, I'm not, I don't care what the waitresses look like. I really don't. I'm going there for the food. Why else would I go there? Good food. Right? You understand. I, I, I don't care what the way is. You know I don't. Here's a restaurant. What is that? Oh, that's like a, another Cuban. Yo, there are so many Cuban restaurants here. There's also like Salvadorian, I think. There's um, Nicaraguan back in the day, if I remember right. There's a lot of different restaurants here in Cape Coral. So, um, Cape Coral is kind of like a nice version of Hialeah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cape Coral is like a nice, and it's still affordable. But I couldn't live here. It's, it's all a grid pattern. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a grid pattern. And it's yeah. so artificial. You know, like, it doesn't have, like... I don't know. It's a very artificial place. <laughs> I don't really like it much. As far as, like... I have nothing against the place, but I don't like it as far as, like, the vibes and yeah. stuff. It's got everything culturally here, but it's a more refined place. I like a place yeah. that's more informal, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's fine. That's just my own personal thing. Yeah. That's my own personal thing. Episcopal? What, what does that mean? JP Sports. Dollar General. Cricket. Isn't there a big mall here? All types of stuff? A plaza back there. There's a big plaza back yeah. there. They got a Bells and Audis. Ultra. LA Fitness. I'm not going to pull into it. Here's another Cuban restaurant. Cuban, Cuban Mexican Rice. food truck. Yeah. Yo, that food truck was our last time we were here. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Cuban. Like, There's a lot of Latin food here. It's, it's like a nice version of Hialeah. Less traffic. Less Cubans, more Latin. 
more New Yorkers. Yeah, it's like a nice version of Hialeah. Man, it's got... Whoa, it's got the same population as Hialeah, too. Mm -hmm. Wow, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. That car is a... Okay. They hit their... They got like a hole and they like backed up into the trailer. You Eduardo, Eduardo, Puerto Rico. Oh, this guy's Puerto Rican. This guy's Do you Puerto have Rican. napkin on the door? There's a napkin here. If you're gonna sneeze, you have to be loud and obnoxious. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Come on, be loud and obnoxious. Here's a Starbucks. Is there a long line? No, no there isn't. Oh. Hmm. Waffle House. I didn't know they didn't have Waffle House on the West Coast until I was watching these YouTubers that were making a video about how they moved to Alabama from California. And they were excited about going to Waffle House. I'm like, I guess they don't have it in California. They could have it in Arizona, but not California. That's crazy. I thought Waffle House was all over the place. I thought they were like international. At this They're point. working toward it, but yeah. it hasn't gotten there yet. It's a very southern thing, I guess. Oh, yeah. I know they have them in Indiana. Because it was my great-grandparents' favorite place, but... That speaks volumes of your family heritage right there. Well, when they went out to Spalentown today, dinner, they would always go to the Waffle House. <laughs> How about y'all? There's a Ross, a Staples, a Dollar Tree. So, yeah, there's a lot of shopping here. And... I, I didn't really think about that. That's an interesting thing to consider. It's got about the same population as Hialeah. Very interesting. Okay. No comment. <laughs> Wendy's. How is Wendy's still in business? Does anybody ever go there? I go to Wendy's less, once a year, if that. They suck. Their Frosties aren't bad. The vanilla ones. Yeah. Can't even go to Walmart. <laughs> McDonald's. Anywhere. <clears throat> I'm stretching, dang it. My yawns are pretty exotic, too. I mean, this is such as my sneezing. My yawns are really... You want to read some comments on the channel? That'd be something to do. This, this thing is so laid back, it bores you. I'm already, I've been here 20 minutes, I'm already bored. <laughs> I can't believe how like light traffic it is. I guess it's just too early in the morning. If you could please read the comments, I'd appreciate it. There's a Perkins. They close to one Bonita. Yeah. Perkins sucks. Mm -hmm. Not as bad as Wendy's, but it sure is crap on a place I want to eat. We got something called Shoney's by our house. Yeah, I don't like it. There's one for I love Shoney's. Isn't there one in Fort Myers? No. Yeah, there is. More north. No, 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 I don't like it. Mm -hmm. What's in here? More cigars. Is that look, Pot and Bakery? Yo, is that, is that a Colombian? There's two Colombian businesses there. I would love to get some Monday Habaisa while we're down here. Can you see if there's a Colombian restaurant? Is this a Jamaican restaurant? And it's three insurance. I've seen this all Yo. about popcorn. Yo, let me tell you what. I'm Cuban pizza. Right there? Dude, there's so much. You smell that? So what that Cuban pizza place is right one time they open. Yo, there's so much Latin food here. This is, they've literally brought Hialeah to Southwest Florida with the city. Minus the traffic and... Que hola, city. Oye, mi hermano. Me robé una camionera. Ah, yo también. You know, like, all that, like, chumaria. Chumaria, man. Shumaria, Shumaria, man. Oh, they wrote me a song. Where? David wrote a salsa song for me. Oh. Dad and David wrote a song about us and were singing it to me. Oh, my gosh. Something like that. He goes back to an old saying. Yo, there's a lot of Vietnam market. There is so much ethnic food up in this place, bro. You see that there? Like everywhere you go, it's in Colombian, Venezuelan, Vietnamese, Cuban, 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 Cuban. This city's got a lot of different stuff going on with food. 
You can't even get one cube in a Columbia place in, Cape, in, in Alabama. Dang it. That's why I'm just trying to convince like a thousand Latinos to move up there just so we can get our first yeah. Cuban restaurant. And then I'll be like, okay, guys, that's, that's enough. No more. <laughs> Bastante, amigos. Ya es mucho. <laughs> no mas. No mas, amigo. The Cuban pizza place opens at 11. Ah. That's, what, eight hours from now? No. Three? Three. What time is it now? Nine? Yeah. Nothing open at nine? There's every restaurant around here is mostly open. Peruvian. Dude, there's like every excuse me. Bolado Parkway. There's like every type of nationality restaurant up in this place. And like Peruvian, Cuban. Salvador and Nicaragua and everything, bro. And Latinos are only a small percentage of the population. Like, you remember when we went to that Cuban restaurant downtown and, like, there weren't even any Cubans eating it. They are all Americans. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because a lot of them are from Connecticut and New York and stuff, and they have that stuff in New Jersey. Like, a lot of that. There's a lot of that stuff up there. Like, Peruvian and Colombian and all that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, accepting new patients. Katie, would you like to be a new patient? You ever realize how like poor people don't ever take health care? Like how do like I think health care is like the biggest fraud in the world. I avoid going to the doctor. Yeah, because we're poor. There's like more restaurants there. What is that? Like Jose. What? We can afford to go to the doctor, we just choose not to. Unhealthy. Uh, Grant, I'm not going to make it to past 50, but I'm helping. What do you mean not? <laughs> I, I, mean, I got some health problems. I'm, I'm just not going to take care of them. And like rich people like here, they go to the doctor like so much. Like yeah. People in other countries don't go to the doctor all that much. They really can't. <laughs> Where are you going back? I don't know whatever street this is. I want to get on. I don't know why, but I do. There's a pawn shop. Cape Julian Pond. Direct insurance. That's like the worst thing that could happen in your life right there. <laughs> I'm end up with them people. Jimenez Appliances. Yeah, just start a business. Jimenez. Can I see your phone? Wait a little bit of I tell you, your styling points today are really bad. I'm just going to say this. You didn't even, did you even do your hair before you left the house? Yes, I did. Where are we? What do you mean I didn't? do my hair. No, it's just frizzy. So we've been on Del Prado, basically. Mm -hmm. oh, we should go to Sun Coast Estates and, and show where that one road rage incident took place. Mm -hmm. You know they've been finding peacock bass in the canals here? Huh. Yeah. So we're about to turn on the Hancock Bridge Parkway. Yeah. We should go to Sun, we should do another Sun Coast Estates. Those videos were really popular. So, Cape Coral Vet is here. La Roca Cuban, another Cuban restaurant. And then there's Gosto Cucina Italiana. Oh, finally. If I can get out of this lane, I will. I don't know why I got it here. It's got a 4.3 though. Bro, how many Cuban restaurants does Cape Coral have? A lot. A lot. They didn't seem interested in Lehigh or Mockley. I like Cape Coral. Yo, it's they got nice. a lot of Latin restaurants. This is like what we've always wanted. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to get some vacation. You know how though. fat we get living here? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, yeah. It's probably better that we're not here. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of food here. It's insane. Miami Bakery. Yo, another Cuban place right there, yo. Bro, how many? What's this little place? Espresso, Espresso to go. Espresso to go. Dude, the amount of restaurants in this city is insane. Yeah. It's got more restaurants in Miami, like per square mile or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's similar. It's like basically Miami without the mad traffic and yeah. Definitely. Cape Coral ain't bad, man. And those are all small businesses. I mean, the people that live here, you know, 
or either going to lose her house or make a lot of money. One or the other. <laughs> small businesses. Oh, Leah, look at Hialeah. Oh, yeah. Hialeah is all small business. And Hialeah has done nothing but gone straight up. The real estate value is everything. Yeah. So maybe it's not a bad thing that people that there's a lot of small business. No, it's never a bad thing. Yeah. It's good that there's a lot of small business. I'll show you guys what some of these neighborhoods look like here. It kind of looks like Lehigh, but don't no, get it confused. First of all, I'm not even going to get into this. If you're comparing Lehigh to Cape Coral, you've lost your mind. <laughs> there's a lot of people that, that really think Lehigh is like Cape Coral is like Lehigh. Not a chance in the no. world. I don't even know how they come up with just a blasphemous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much blasphemy in that one. Big tree. Big tree, man. <laughs> Big tree, man. Papaya tree over there. Not so many more. There aren't that many new houses going up right now. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Do you think they'd be building more, wouldn't they? Wouldn't it? Maybe they're not building more in this region mm -hmm. of Cape Coral. I think maybe on the north outskirts they're building more. Mm -hmm. But uh, papaya trees right there as well. Yeah, buddy. Mango trees flowering. Yeah, but is that a duck? It's a duck. You you kill a man. It might be. Is that a Silverado? Is that a Silverado? You know who we should have brought with us down here? There's a Cuban around here. He was probably mad we left him in Alabama. Oh. Poopy? Yeah. Yeah. So they're building a house right there mm -hmm. and right here. Okay, so there's two houses going up on this street. No, I'm saying, like, you'd think there'd be more houses going up, but there aren't really. I'm surprised we haven't seen more houses going up. Not bad at all. I'm just surprised how many more restaurants they've opened here. They're mostly Latin, too. Oh, look at the dog. That's what I want to get. Let's see. Yeah, no, let's get back from that rush. Huh? Look at that dog. The cute dog. Total hipster. That's the dog I want, Jose. You want a hipster dog? Yes. For sale by owner. Very uncouth. <laughs> Oh, and there's flyers. Get a flyer. Nice house. It's probably like 240. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. These people are Cuban. They have the aluminum fences from Miami. Mm -hmm. And mango trees and papaya trees. And shutters are still up on the house. Definitely. And there's a Nissan on the driveway. Mm -hmm. I I'd bet my life on the people being Cuban. <laughs> what is this guy doing? The kids are going to school this late. Pine Island. Oh, there's like a little miniature. There are rougher spots. This little corner has just got rough right here. You can tell there's an old Mercedes Benz. Okay. That looks like the one Daddy saw. Yeah. But I don't call it. I, the only thing I know about that Mercedes Benz is wherever in the world it's at, it's in a bad neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> that car had just a bad aspect to it. If yeah, that car's still around, it's in the hood somewhere. Yeah. You're the finest lawn care. But that's that's the finest lawn care. I, I don't know, man. I've seen nicer than that. I've seen big old brand new truck, man. What happened? Finest lawn care in Southwest Florida. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot bigger than that. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, man. All right, buddy. Come on, man. You know that's not the finest lawn care in Southwest Florida. Come on, man. You don't even got a. They don't even got a real landscaping truck. They have like a little Ford F one fifty. Come on, man. It's not even an F three fifty. That's a hard one to pull off, buddy. <laughs> you gotta stretch the truth there a little bit. Actually, those are the best ones you have. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think you should have an investment. Is that a canal? There's got to be bass in there. I'm fishing. All right, guys. 
so that is uh, the end of this tour. I hope you guys liked it. Cape Coral.